Hi, I'm Rie. I'm a pasty producer. Today, I've been challenged to take a common food and make it fancy. Let's see what we are making fancy today. Fruit Loops. As you can guess, I've never tried this before. Growing up, I eat a lot of Cocoa Puffs. I'm hoping it tastes like fruit. I hope different color has a different flavor. Look like a pile of poison. Doesn't taste like fruit. It's all same flavor. I like the crunch. Internet likes colorful dessert. It can be really pretty. It's not too bad, but maybe if you're eating bunch, it might be a little bit too sweet. So color is actually cute and very festive. So I think we can make some fun dessert. I'm excited to make it fancy. Right, here's what I got. Butter, heavy cream, eggs, and milk. From the pantry, I got cornstarch, salt, vanilla extract, sugar, flour, white chocolate, food coloring, and brandy. Okay, let's get started. Make it fancy. First step, I'm going to use Fruit Loops. And I just realized fruit spell like F-R-O-T, not like fruit fruit just like a meme, if you know what I'm talking about. Four cups of Fruit Loops, three cup of milk. That's a big breakfast. <laughs> I also don't know like what is the appropriate amount of cereal you have to eat for breakfast. Sometimes like just bowl of cereal doesn't look like enough. So I'm heating up medium high heat, kind of extract more flavor from Fruit Loops. As soon as little bubbles coming from the milk that's ready, just don't boil the milk. Ray, do you recognize the bird on the box? No. <laughs> is he famous? He's famous. So his full name is Chikensan. I used to have a bird that talks like paraki, like little one. He came to my grandma's yard and she kept it. And I think it was bird from some sort of station. It says like, next stop is such and such. <laughs> I know the little bird that talks, they're smart. Milk is simmered, I'm going to pour over and gently push so there's no dry spot. Steep this about one hour and we are moving on to next step. Two cups of Fruit Loops. So you kind of want to make it like a pebble, like this size. So I'm going to just use like big piece for later. Sugar part is going to go through the mesh sieve. If you don't have a um, food processor, you can just put it in bag and crush them with rolling pin or something, right? What you have, whip on your choice. It's kind of pretty, it's like fairy dust. And moving on to the next step. Okay, so we've been steeping Fruit Loops for one hour. We are going to string. It's kind of jiggly. Sounds like you are stepping into the paddle. Half cup of cereal milk, half cup of water, and we're gonna save this later. I'm going to use one stick of butter and cut it small sizes so it melts faster. And two teaspoons of sugar, melt all the ingredients. The color is not as good as I was hoping for, but I think we have some idea to fix. Everything is melted. So I'm adding one cup of flour, medium heat. Although it's kind of shiny and it's kind of foam into like one big blob. You take off the heat and you want to wait this dough cool to touch about five minutes. So dough is cooled down, add egg one by one. I think we will need four eggs, but it depends on the consistency. Mix it. You have to make sure all the egg is absorbed. Second. If you have a stand mixer, you can use stand mixer with a paddle attachment. It's an expensive machine, so I just want to show you how to do it by hand. The dough has to be a little bit runny and gonna go for four eggs. I think we might need one more. I'm cracking fifth egg, but I think I'm gonna use just a half first. Eggs come in different shape, so consistency is the indicator not the amount of egg. Let's test it. So you kind of bring out the dough. I think it still need just a little bit. Whew. It's a good workout. Yeah, like that. That's a good texture. Quarter cup of crushed fruit loops. Pretty, look. It became gray to rainbow. Put this in a piping bag and put the piping tip and twist and insert and bend so 
When you put the dough, it doesn't overflow. It's alive! I'm going to pipe this dough onto the baking sheet. I spread oil underneath of the parchment paper so it sticks to the pan. Brush water into the paper. So it helps parachute to puff up without drying up. To make sure each dough has enough room because it's gonna rise. So when you're squeezing, you don't want to squeeze from here. You kind of want to squeeze your dominant hand on the top. And also you don't need to do like swirl. You just have to steady pipe. We made a parachute at the culinary school. Also, this was maybe my first pastry I made with my mom. I love making parachute. I like the transformation. I sometimes even wait in front of the oven so I can see when it's puffed up. And this is ready. Ready or fast? Oh, I've seen faster. Whoever doing this like at a professional level, they are so fast. Cool, cute. So you don't want this point, so you wet your finger with water and kind of make it flat. And this moisture also helps this puffed up. I like this, it's cute. Missing round is cute. So I was a little bit worried because when we steep Fruit Loops, it was gray. <laughs> but now because of the egg and because of the crushed Fruit Loop, it looks very festive and cute. It looks almost like a funfetti cake. So this is the egg wash leftover. I think we don't have enough, so I'm gonna add a little bit of water. It kind of gives a shine when you finish baking. So we are going to bake this at 400 Fahrenheit for 20 minutes, and then lower the heat to 350 Fahrenheit. Bake for 10 to 15 minutes until golden brown. When you're baking, don't open the door. If you open the door, it won't rise. So I have reserved Fruit root infused milk, heat it up, two egg yolks, two tablespoons of sugar. I'm gonna mix it until pale. This is a little bit crucial part when you're making custard. You have to make sure the sugar is absorbed into egg yolk. Two tablespoons of cornstarch and one teaspoon of vanilla. So milk is start bubbling. Add just a little bit so you're kind of tempering. Put gentle stream. Bring this back to a pot. Turn on the heat and cook this until it is thickened. You want to consistently mix with rubber spatula because it will burn if you don't do that or it's become like hard oats. Pastry cream is done. Transfer to a bowl. Not the prettiest color, but we're gonna fix it. You want to make sure the plastic is touching to the custard so it doesn't form a skin. Chill this until completely cool, about 30 minutes. And it's not pretty. Let's make it pretty. One tablespoon of brandy. Just mix it, separate this into three. I usually avoid using food color, but this color is a little bit off-putting. I like the kind of color for Fruit Loops, so I'm adding a little bit of food color. We have pink, we have blue, and we have purple. Ray, what's your favorite color? You know, it's difficult to pick your favorite color. Whenever people ask me that question, I don't have the answer. But I tend to choose like a stone color for my clothing and red for like accessories. Set this aside. I'm gonna whip some cream. I'm gonna start with one and a half cup. I know there is a one person on Instagram, he made at least three or four things from Make It Fancy. We should give him a prize. Perfect consistency. So cream is whipped, it's a stiff peak. Add to custard mix. It's just one big scoop, it's like eyeball. Okay, the fillings are ready and I'm going to use this piping bag. This is a special kind of tool. If you don't have it, you can just make one color. I want to make like unicorn effect. So I got a special tool that makes three color cream. One done, and two done, three done. Put them together. So I'm gonna set this aside and move on to the next step. All right, look how cute it is. Perfectly puffed up. I'm going to cut top part. You can see the Fruit Loops inside. Pipe, they're unicorny. 
I'm very happy. If it's not hollow enough, you can just push the inside part. Look how pretty they are. I don't know, I don't like eating colorful food, but I like making colorful food. <laughs> Dip white chocolate, it's melted. Put like a hat and put Fruit Loop. I'm topping with Fruit Loops because it kind of gives nice poppy color and adding more flavor and more texture. It's so cute. I'm very happy. It's the cutest thing I've ever made on this show. I'm gonna put it on the plate. This looks great and we are done. They are Unicorn Fruit Loop Cream Puffs. Welcome back, Jasmine. Thank you. <laughs> Can you tell what I made fancy from? Can I smell it? Yeah. Fruit Loops? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell the difference between Fruity Pebbles and Fruit Loops? Well, that's why I asked to smell it. Oh, it's yeah, different? I can smell the difference. Fruity Pebbles smells a little more like juicy, uh -huh. and then Fruit Loops smell a little tangier. But you have a good smell. Yeah, people like think I'm a dog. Oh, wow. Yeah. My hunch is that you made cereal cream puffs. Yes. With a... A whipped filling and a donut icing top mm. of some sort? Yeah! Mmm. <laughs> this is delightful, very fancy, I love it. Thank you! Some rainbow foods are so saturated mm. to the point where they taste chemically sweet. This is light, fluffy, nice crunch with this cereal. It's heavenly. Fruit Loop everything, but not too overpowering. Yes. So Jasmine, did yeah. I make... Hi. Hi. <laughs> did I make Fruit Loop fancy? Yes, you did. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Make, make it, it fancy! fancy!